Hello and welcome to Monster Monday. On today's episode, we're going to explore the nightmare. Mwah. So Reagan, the nightmare. The nightmare is an evil, scary horse. Ooh. See, here's the picture of it. It's kind of pretty, not gonna lie. Fire mane, red eyes, fire hooves. So the nightmare is a large fiend. That means it's not of this world. It comes from the lower plains. Um, a nightmare appears in a cloud of roiling smoke, its mane, tail, and hooves wreathed in flame. The creature's unearthly black form moves with supernatural speed vanishing in a cloud of brimstone as quickly as it appeared. Also called a demon horse or hell horse, the nightmare serves as a steed for creatures of exceptional evil, carrying demons, devils, death knights, liches, mm, night hags, and other vile monsters. It <laughs> resembles a fiendish horse, and a nightmare's fiery red eyes betray its malevolent intelligence. A nightmare can be summoned from the lower plains, but unless a worthy sacrifice is offered to it as food upon its arrival, the nightmare displays no special loyalty to the creature it serves. Creating a nightmare. Nightmares don't appear naturally in the multiverse. They must be created from Pegasi. How, you ask? The ritual that creates a nightmare requires the torturous removal of a Pegasus's wings, driving that noble creature to evil as it is transformed by dark magic. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cruel. So the suffering and torture of a Pegasus in, the, in participation of this ritual is how a nightmare is created. Let's look at the stat block. So it has an armor class of 13, hit points of 68, a speed of 60 with a flying speed of 90. That is pretty fast. Yep. That's double fast on land and triple fast in the air. It has a huge how can strength. How fly if it doesn't have wings? That's a great question. I don't know. Maybe it has like shadow wings, you know? Oh. Like, like uh, or just the ability to fly magically. Um, it's considered a challenge rating of three, which is not as high as I would have thought. But maybe that's because it's like the mount for creatures that have a way higher challenge rating. Can you fight a Pegasi? Yeah. Now, Pegasi are good. They're good creatures. So you They're know. like some of the nicest, like Pegasi, Pegasi and unicorns are like good creatures. So this creature was created by torturing a good creature during a ritual. So um, they can confer fire resistance. That means the nightmare can grant resistance to fire damage to anyone riding it. They have illumination. The nightmare sheds bright light in a 10 foot radius and dim light for an additional 10 feet. Their attacks, uh, they have an attack with their hooves which is plus six to hit. It does 2d8 plus four damage plus 2d6 fire damage. That's a, that's a lot of, that's a huge potential. It's like up, up to 32 points of damage per attack. This is maybe what makes them so magically cool. Ethereal stride. The nightmare and up to three willing creatures within five feet of it magically enter the ethereal plane from the material plane or vice versa. So they could go into and out of other planes of existence. Like, boop, they're not there. Boop, they're there. Yeah, so it could be like running across here and then disappear in a, in a puff of black smoke and sulfur and then appear 90 feet away on the other side. Of the <laughs> so that's pretty deadly. Pretty deadly. All right, so where would we find a nightmare? Well. Here in the text, they give you some examples. Mm -hmm. This is a creature who is ridden by really a lot more powerful creatures, like demons, devils, death knights, liches, night hags. What's a night hag? A night hag is like an intelligent, scary witch lady. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think part of the reason why the nightmare is often just used as like a prop by DMs. You know what I mean? Like it's it's more for like when a, a group is dealing with a powerful bad guy. Right. This is like what the bad guy rides. 
But I like to think about other things, like how could you encounter a nightmare without it being ridden by a demon or devil? Well, if it's in a stable. Yeah, so describe your idea. What would you, how would you maybe have a party encounter okay. nightmares? So imagine you're walking up to this big mansion and on the, the middle center, as you walk down the path, it splits into a circle and in the circle there's a fountain that's just spreading blood and you, you go and you don't want to go into the center because um, as you keep going, a bunch of poisonous plants are everywhere. The door looks like um, you'd probably die if you tried to open it. Mm -hmm. So instead of entering the mansion that way, we go to the left and we go to the stables. Mm -hmm. And the stables are made of like gates of bones. And on the inside, you see like yes. these horses. And they're in the stables and they're also like outside, just like in like the. Ooh, the, like the, a lot of them? Like, yeah, like in like sulfur fields. And like mm -hmm. you could tell that this person, devil who owns the mansion, has these as like his like things and they're just then the the gates are there so that you don't go towards them not to keep them in because obviously they can just go through the ethereal plane and just yes so not. they're kind of free roaming and living within the the manner of their masters yeah because he feeds them mm -hmm. excellent now what if so here's an idea what if there was a nightmare who lost its master, but it's still alive? Well, it doesn't really have any allegiance to anyone, it said, unless yeah. it's fed. So we could go up there and we could feed them. Yes. Now, that would be trying to make friends with a neutral evil creature, <sighs> but at the same time, that, that's one solution for it. But I wonder if there was like a nightmare who basically lost its master and was kind of wandering around this area where it used to live with its master, mm -hmm. almost in a sense of like guarding... It, even though the master is dead, you know how like when people die, the dog like sticks around or the cat. Yeah, but they actually feel allegiance to their owner. Right. These don't. So this doesn't feel allegiance to its owner typically. But what if, what if there was one that did? Mm -hmm. And so the party goes to this, you know, castle ruined area, whatever, or some manor. And even though the the big bad master is dead, or maybe just away. Mm hmm. Maybe that's why they still feel allegiance. Because he's still living there. Yeah. And he's there. He's still feeding them. Yeah. Or maybe it's like a night hag, and she just like went on a journey to go get yeah, something. Yeah, she used one of her horses to go, but she still right. has more like. So then they're on. guarding her domain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you have like these guardians, who are not super deadly, but still pretty badass. And then. I would feel bad killing one because then the night hag would just want to make more and then hurt more pegasi. Right. So let's say you're a good party. Mm -hmm. And this is a great thing, too, for DMs to consider. Like, this nightmare doesn't necessarily have to be solved by killing it. Maybe the party creatively comes up with a way to gain the nightmare's trust and then to somehow, f maybe it turns into a bigger adventure. Like, you're curious, like, what if we could restore the nightmare to its Pegasi thing? Mm -hmm. And you do magical research and you find out that there is... There's actually like a good magical spell power that you can learn, a ritual then, that you can learn to then return all you the, and pegasi. the pegasi. Like wait at the manor yes. until the night hag comes back and attack it for all that it did right. to them. Or it could be a long series of adventures where you have to get all these specific things, like the the tooth of a gold dragon and the um, the crystal of Shamaz. I just made that up. I understand. And then <laughs> the spell book has a special ritual that's only found in this one kind of spell book. And so you have to gather these things and go on these little all, mini adventures. All before the Nighthag comes back. And then you have to do the ritual with all those things, and then you can restore the Nightmare into a Pegasus. And then the Pegasus is now your friend, your ally. And then you guys fight the Nighthag. And then you fight the Nighthag. Mm. Good adventure. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this little... Monster Monday snippet with the nightmare and uh, maybe got some good ideas for how to use it. Thank you as always for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, spreading the word, tweeting, snapping, whatever it is that people do, but thank you and we love you. Peace out.